Last year, my father and I began working on a documentary about the life of Mr. Spock. We were both very much aware that the 50th anniversary of Star Trek, the original series, was coming up in 2016. And we wanted to create something to help commemorate that event. We wanted to do a documentary that was kind of like a, a real exploration of the creation of Mr. Spock, the evolution of his character, the, and the impact of his character on popular culture, particularly because that impact seems to have lasted for 50 years now. And we were kind of going to explore why it was that that had, uh, that phenomenon had occurred, um, you know, about Star Trek in general and Mr. Spock in particular, what it was about Mr. Spock that resonated with people uh, all over the world. When my father passed away at the end of February, uh, there was such a huge outpouring of emotion from fans all over the world, not only about the fact that they had lost a pop culture icon, Mr. Spock, but because they had also lost a great artist. A lot of people respected my dad. Only now I will not only be paying tribute to Mr. Spock, but to the life of Leonard Nimoy as well. I was sharing him, you know. It was difficult to have a kind of uh, alone, quiet time, family time with him. Uh, and he was, you know, he was a workaholic, my dad as well. I mean, Star Trek was a 14-hour day, easily. And then he did, immediately after three years of Star Trek, he was on Mission Impossible, which was a TV series from the 60s. Also very, very long day, very complicated long day. So we never really saw him. But Dad was also a workaholic when he was on hiatus, which is their, their break between seasons. He was, he was doing everything from personal appearances and uh, he was recording records. He was doing stage work, uh, stage plays. Uh, he was a very busy guy because, you know, he was looking for economic security that we had never had up to that point. And he firmly believed that he was riding a wave, definitely with Star Trek, that there was something happening here that was a groundswell that was building for him. But his concern was that when it was over, it would be done and that would be it. And he, we'd be back to the struggle.